Hi guys, welcome back to New England Fire Cooking. I'm Aaron Higgins and today we've got a really nice sunny day, but man, it is cold. You might actually hear some hissing in the background. That's my radiator blowing off steam because it is cold. So I figured on this freezing cold January day, why don't we knock out what I call some blazing baby back ribs. And we're gonna bring some heat to the game with these ribs. We've got the Traeger fired up. We're gonna be running between 250 and 275 today. So what I have right here is a couple racks of baby back ribs. I've already seasoned the bone side, and I just want to show you guys how I'm going to season the meat side before we get them on the grill. So with ribs like this, what I like to do is I like to season the bone side first. I peel the membrane off the back side, and then what I do is I put down rub in layers of flavor. I put one layer down, then I come over again, and then I come over again, and then I give it a good pat. But before I do any of that, what I like to do is I like to give a little line of yellow mustard here. Just like that. This serves as a binder to help the rub stick to this meat. And you just wanna give a nice light coat just like this. Now to bring the heat to these ribs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come across first with the Weber garlic jalapeno rub. And what I'm doing is I'm just coming right across the top. This is gonna serve as our savory flavor on these ribs. For our next layer of rub, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over with the Killer Hogs Hot Barbecue Rub. This is a really great all-purpose barbecue rub. A Little bit of ancho chili in this, gives it a little kick of heat, and I love this stuff. So for our third layer of seasoning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over with the Heath Riles Honey Chipotle Rub. And this has a really good flavor. Little kick of heat, a little bit of a lighter color. Looks pretty good to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over and I'm gonna give it a light pat. You don't wanna actually rub it, just pat it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them sit here for about 10 minutes. I like to get them a little bit of a sweat on them. Let some of this rub pull some moisture out of this meat here. You don't have to do that. If you really wanted to, you could throw them right on the grill, right off the bat. It really doesn't alter anything too, too much by letting them sweat. It just makes sense in my head. So we're gonna let these sit here for about 10 minutes while the Traeger comes up to temp. Okay guys, these ribs have a really good sweat on them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them right in the dead center of the Traeger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bunch these up a little bit just to try to get more meat in between the bones. Okay, keep in mind, the ribs are going to cook exactly how you set them. So if you set them crooked or you bend them or something like that, that's how they're gonna cook. So what you wanna do is you wanna get them as straight as you can and I like to bunch them up a little bit. Put them right in the center. Bunch them up. Now we're gonna get it closed and we're gonna let it roll. Probably looking at two and a half, three hours in weather like this. And then uh, we'll be ready to wrap them. Okay guys. So obviously we're starting to lose the light out here a little bit, but these ribs are ready to wrap and they've got a really nice color on it. The rub is stuck right to them. So what I did was I put a good drizzle of organic raw honey right down the middle of this heavy duty tip foil. And then I put a few pads of butter right on top of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these ribs meat side down on top of that butter. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this San Pellegrino blood orange and I'm just gonna come right over the back side Dribble some of this right in here. This is for a little extra liquid and some sweetness. It's gonna go really, really well with this. And I use about a third of a can maybe, maybe half. You could go up to about a half. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get these ribs wrapped. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold over and you wanna be careful when you do this because you don't wanna have your bones that are starting to show poke through. You don't want any holes. Try not to lose your liquid 
fold this end up a little, come right over the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this right back on the smoker. I'm going to give the other rack the exact same treatment and I'll start checking them in about an hour to see how tender they are. Okay guys, here we are. And as you can see, we got some real good disintegration on these bones right here. I'm going to probe it right between these bones. Once you get into the 200 range, uh, you're looking pretty good. Once you get over 208, you might be overcooked. This is right where we want it. And this smaller rack right here. Yeah, we're, we're over 200 on this one. We're, yeah, we're... Yeah, 203, 204. So these are done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them off. I'm going to flip them over, put them on the uh, grates, get them out of this uh, butter bath solution here, and I'm going to give them a glaze. So for this glaze, I'm going to be using a homemade mango habanero barbecue sauce. It's really going to bring some heat to the game here. And this stuff is made by my buddy Wayne, co-worker of mine. He grows a lot of his own hot peppers, and then he makes a lot of really cool stuff with them. And uh, he didn't really name this, he just said it was Mango Habanero. So I'm gonna call this Wicked Wayne's Mango Habanero Barbecue Sauce. I've already tried this on some wings, and it was really, really awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab this barbecue sauce right on top of these racks. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let them roll for about another 15, 20 minutes or so. Let some smoke get on this glaze, then we'll be ready to eat. Okay guys, here we are. We got this beautiful rack of ribs. They're smelling great. Before I cut into these, let's do a quick run through of what we did. The first thing we did was we fired up the trigger, but we ran it between 250 and 275. I tend to stick on the higher side of those temperatures when it's cold like it was today. Then we had these baby back ribs. Peeled the membrane off the back, Gave it a good coat of mustard, nice light coat, enough for the rub to stick to, and then we hit it with the Weber garlic jalapeno, the Killer Hogs hot barbecue rub, and the Heath Riles honey chipotle rub. And we gave it the same treatment on both sides, and then we got it on the smoker, three hours on smoke, and then we used some organic honey, some butter tabs, and a little bit of the San Pellegrino blood orange soda when we wrapped it, and gave it a nice little basting liquid, or braising liquid, I should say. And then we put it on and it ran for about another hour, maybe hour and a half. You could have let it go for an hour and a half. You want to be careful. You don't want to overcook it, obviously. And then we pulled it out of the butter bath, got it back on the grill, and gave it a glaze with Wicked Wayne's Mango Habanero Barbecue Sauce. And now I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to cut right into this. We're going to flip this rack right up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right down the very center. And it's cutting like absolute butter, you guys. And this is unbelievable. And get this this rib right here. Wow. Some meat. And when you look at that, that is just a beautiful, beautiful looking rib. And I'm going to nail this. Mm, it's just butter tender. Wayne, I gotta tell you. This hot sauce, buddy, or should I say this hot barbecue sauce, mango habanero, is the perfect sweet to heat ratio. This is just really well done. So kudos to you, sir. But it's just coming right off. If you like your ribs falling off the bone, you guys, this is a really good recipe. I love baby back ribs. I actually like baby back ribs better than St. Louis. No, it might be considered heresy, but fight me. Oh man. Look at that. This comes right off. So, so tender. So tender. I'm gonna hold this up, see if you can get a look at that. That smoke ring right there. It's a delicious baby back rib meat goodness gotta tell you guys i think i say this every time i cook a rack of ribs but this i think is my new favorite without a doubt i think this is my new favorite so uh wayne um you can get me more of that sauce buddy that'd be really really nice killer hogs 
Heath Riles and Weber, obviously, those guys all do a great job. Good seasonings. I could just smash this whole thing. I could just, you know, literally just take this and just. But uh, but I gotta tell you, I'm gonna cut this up. And we're gonna sit down, and have some dinner, got some mac and cheese and some salad, and this is just gonna be perfect. Um, what else can I say? I mean, it's a perfect rack of baby back ribs, perfectly seasoned, right amount of smoke, and a great sauce. It's really all it takes. And uh, I gotta tell you, I'm. Uh, I'm pleasantly happy with this one. I'm very happy with this one. So if you like what you see here and you like what we're doing on this channel, and this is something that you might think you could eat every day, then give us a subscribe. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. Thanks for hanging out with us today. See you next time.